bloody moonrise, werewolves of the concrete jungle. It was a dark, cold night in the bustling city of New York. The streets were quieter than usual. The people huddled in their warm homes, trying to escape the chill that had settled upon the city. But one man was out and about. His name was Jake, and he was a reporter for a local newspaper. He was always on the lookout for a good story, and tonight he was about to uncover the biggest story of his career. As he walked down the deserted streets, he couldn't shake off the feeling that he was being watched. The hairs on the back of his neck stood on end, and a shiver ran down his spine. But he shrugged it off, thinking it was just his imagination playing tricks on him. As he turned the corner onto a dimly lit street, he saw a group of people gathered around something. Curious, he walked closer to get a better look. What he saw made his blood run cold. It was a dead body, ripped to shreds, with deep claw marks all over it. Jake had reported on many crime scenes before, but this one was different. It was almost as if the killer had animal-like features. He quickly pulled out his phone to call the police, but before he could dial, he heard a low growling sound coming from behind him. He slowly turned around, only to come face to face with a pair of glowing yellow eyes. He tried to move, but his feet were frozen to the ground. The figure in front of him took a step closer, and that's when Jake realized what he was looking at. A werewolf. He stumbled backward, trying to escape, but the werewolf was too fast. It lunged at him, its sharp claws swiping at him. Jake managed to dodge and ran for his life, not daring to look back. He could hear the werewolf's howls getting closer, its heavy footsteps echoing behind him. Jake felt like he was running for hours, his legs burning with exhaustion. He had no idea where he was going, but he knew he had to get away from the werewolf. Finally, he saw a brightly lit building and ran towards it, hoping to find some help. The building turned out to be a bar, and the people inside looked at him with confusion as he burst through the door, panting and sweating. Jake tried to tell them what had happened, but his words came out incoherent. The bartender, sensing that something was wrong, called the police and helped Jake to a seat. As he waited for the police to arrive, Jake's mind raced with thoughts. He had never believed in werewolves or any other supernatural beings. But what he had seen with his own eyes tonight, there was no denying it. He was attacked by a werewolf, and it was real. The police arrived and took Jake's statement. They searched the area where he had seen the werewolf, but found nothing. Jake was dismissed as just another crazy person, making up stories for attention. He tried to tell them that he was a reporter and that his story was true but they didn't believe him. Deschartned, Jake had left the bar and headed back to his apartment. But he couldn't get the image of the werewolf out of his mind. He did some research and found out that there had been other reports of similar attacks in the city. All of them were in the same area, and all of them had been dismissed by the police. Jake couldn't let this go. He knew that something was going on, and he was determined to find out the truth. He started investigating talking to the families of the victims, and digging deeper into the history of the area. What he found out was horrifying. The area where the attacks had been taking place used to be a burial ground for a tribe of Native Americans. The tribe had been cursed by a witch long ago, and anyone who disturbed the land would suffer the consequences. The witch had cursed the tribe to turn into werewolves, and they were now taking their revenge on anyone who entered their territory. Jake knew he had to put a stop to this. He gathered all the evidence he had collected and went to the police. This time, they listened to him and decided to launch an investigation. But before they could do anything, the full moon rose in the sky and the werewolves came out to hunt. Jake and the police were caught in the middle of a fierce battle between the werewolves and the police. In the end, the police were able to kill all the werewolves, but not without suffering some casualties themselves. The city of New York was in shock, and Jake's story was the talk of the town. He had finally uncovered the truth behind the werewolves, but at what cost? He couldn't shake off the horror he had experienced that night, and he knew that the memory of it would haunt him forever. From that day on, Jake was known as the man who survived a werewolf attack, and his story will be told for generations to come.
Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.